Hey guys, we are here to talk about the great era of piracy one piece roadshow in Genting. But before we do, yeah. I want to do a very quick <laughs> catch up with Big Pete. Big Pete, how have you been? Uh, I've been very busy lately, uh, no time to do much videos. <laughs> yeah, you guys are probably wondering you know, what happened to us because to be very frank, 2023 has been an amazingly busy year because we yeah. have been all trying to catch up to all the lost time that we had in lost 2022, 2021. 2023 is really a big catch up year for both me and Big Pete. While we have been busy and visiting a lot of toy stores, um, cosplay yes. events, <laughs> but we don't have the time to actually film, come back, edit, do the proper voiceover. It takes up way too much time. And not to talk about also backlog. We have so many Gunpla and Plumber backlog. <laughs> it's not even funny yes. anymore. I guess you will miss, actually, you will miss uh, our Gunpla reviews. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we used to do a lot of Gunpla news coverage yes. before, but given how we've been so busy, uh, I think a lot of other channels is covering it up, so I'm not really doing that much anymore, okay? So, let's talk about the One Piece event in Genting. Uh, Big Pete, you were there at the event. These are all yes. the footage from you at the event. What would you say, how was the event? Is it worth going for this event for One Piece fans? Yes, I would recommend you to pay them a visit. I mean, it's worth uh, paying money to visit this exhibition. It's uh, really a cool and uh, amazing experience because in this whole uh, exhibition, you actually go into different kind of rooms, the settings uh, which will tell you different uh, timeline and the story of you know, Luffy fight, uh, fighting enemies, uh, Luffy meeting up with friends. Uh, there's a lot of photo uh, op session where you can actually take the photos and then when you exit the exhibition, you actually choose the photos and you actually uh, pay to get those uh, nice photographs. Wow, awesome. I mean, for me as a big One Piece fan, I'm actually quite thankful that the show actually landed in Malaysia. I don't know whether you guys are aware of this, but usually when there are big anime road shows around the world like uh, Attack of Titan as mm -hmm. I can remember that only went into Singapore and not in Malaysia Malaysia always gets escaped so I'm actually quite happy this time around finally a big show such as One Piece actually came down to Malaysia yes so uh, in addition to just going in and watching the props or diorama there are actually uh, some tv screens that shows the scenes and there are actually some area that you could play the game uh, oh. you actually download a qr code and then you play a game by the end of the exhibition you could be able to redeem something from there wow that's very cool yeah. i thought it was just going there and relieve the experience of all the different arc of one piece but turns out you can also actually play games and yes. win, win some prizes yes so okay, the, the okay. user experience here is quite different uh, i would say it's very interesting and in every room that you go in right you make you have to make sure that you actually look everywhere like this is on top of the cage right uh, what's his name? Don <laughs> Don Flamingo. Don Flamingo. Yeah, so he's actually jumping on top from the cage. If you actually don't look up, you will miss him. Wow, very cool. I mean, definitely as a big One Piece fan, I have not actually finished watching the Wano arc, right? I'm still stuck yeah. in that particular arc. I'm trying to finish that arc before I go to the show. But from the pictures and the footage I've seen that you have shared and also everybody has shared on Facebook, mm -hmm. this is definitely one event that I want to go. Not just to relieve the, all the cool arcs of the show and the series, but the merchandise. I heard there are some special exclusive event merchandise there as well, right? Yes, uh, merchandise that is created just for this event. Um, when you actually exit the hall, you will find a very huge merchandise space. Normally, you will actually get small uh, area for merchandise, but this exhibition, I can guarantee you, you could find something that you like at the merchandise section. Yeah, at the end of the um, show there's a very big diorama as you can see here yes. this is something that I definitely want to go and see in this person and actually experience how all the One Piece Luffy's crew fight with the this particular series I've not reached this <laughs> out yet so I don't know who those villains are right. but definitely for me one of my main goal is to hopefully find a big mom merchandise big mom is one of my favorite scariest villain in the series yes and yes if you actually really think about the one piece show right mm -hmm. it actually does mirror the um uh, at least in wonderland system in a way right 
to be very frank, if you think about it, the big mom's arc that is the uh, Alice in Wonderland, right? The, mm-hmm. the Queen of Hearts. Then there are some other arcs as well that is mirrored in this particular series. But I think this series is going to come to a close very soon because this show has been running for more than 10 years, yeah, right? It's wow, it's long. been so long. And right now, the show is actually streaming on Netflix as well. But to be very frank, as what Big Pete said, in addition to going there and looking at all the cool dioramas, the statues, and the games, the pictures is something that I really want actually to, to take back some pictures to relieve yes. the moment. Uh, no, I mean if if you would pay for the pictures is cool because they are professional. They have professional photographers that to take pictures for you. And if you don't want to pay for the pictures, you could actually go for your selfie. Wow. You know, uh, there's a lot of different areas that you can take a lot of selfies or ask your friend to take photos for you. The t-shirts are awesome. I really wanted those t-shirts that I've seen from your pictures just now as well. Yes. And I've heard from you, BP, that the event is also extended. Yes, extended to uh, another month. Uh, it's supposed to end on the 6th of June, something like that. Okay. Yeah, we will put in the details on the uh, description. Fantastic. So for me, I definitely will be planning a separate trip to go and check out a One Piece show. Do go and support the event, guys, because to be very frank, the more support this event get in the future, hopefully more anime shows will land in Malaysia as well. And not just skip Malaysia and go straight to Singapore, <laughs> right? So yes, for yes. me, get the merchandise, the t-shirts definitely are something that I'm looking forward to. And as I heard from Big Pete, the event is really well put together, quite professionally. All the projectors are those high quality yes. Epson projectors as well. So they are extremely sharp, extremely bright, something that you have to experience in person. Yep. So Big Pete, any, any parting words for our fans who's been watching this? Well, we better hurry because uh, it's only one more month. Uh, if you miss this, then you won't be able to see this anymore. Yeah. If you guys want to see any particular section of the show, do let us know. So in our next trip, probably we will feel a more in-depth section of the show for you. But till then, All we right. hope to see you guys very soon and set up a lot more videos for you guys to see on our channel. Thank you guys for watching. All right. Bye.